Elizabeth, you're one of the most busy <laughs> retired women I've ever met. You're right. I am. <laughs> so break it down for me. How many children and grandchildren do you have? I have six kids, and I have five grandkids now. You. Yep. <laughs> and so you're part of the so-called sandwich generation, People for people that don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. That means I'm taking care of my mom and my five grandkids on and off, you know, both of them at the same time. <laughs> so tell me what your regular schedule is day to day. Well, I come to see my mom practically <laughs> at least two or three times a week. And of course, I call her every other day. And then um, now I just had a new grandson who's oh, five congratulations. months. Thank you. And what's his name again? His name is William. Okay. And so now that my daughter-in-law went back to work, he's going to be coming over. And then I was, my daughter-in-law was getting her MBA, so she lives in Folsom and asked me to go help her out. And so I was driving, for the last year, I was driving up to Folsom wow. to help her because my other grandkids at that time, grandson was three and two. <laughs> Wow. So let me get this straight. We're in San Francisco. Folsom is past Sacramento, which is, it takes you probably an hour, 45, two hours hours to get there. To get there. So you drive there once a week? Yes. And then you turn around after taking care of your grandson? The two of them. Two of them. I'm helping out my son, basically, and my daughter-in-law. Wow. So it's, but I'm lucky there, the two kids go to daycare during the day, but it's like, um, (laughs) I clean their house, do the laundry, wow, and then drive the kids to daycare, pick them up, and have dinner ready for them. <sighs> wow. Well, you're a godson you know. of a mom. So what day is that? Usually Monday to Wednesday. Monday to Wednesdays, you do. So you stay there Monday to Wednesdays. And then mon- before I go, I come visit my mom, and make sure she has her food and um, whatever she needs. And which days are that? Is that pretty much Thursday pretty through much, Sunday? Yes, Monday, <laughs> Thursday, Friday, when. Pretty much Monday, because I always see her Monday, okay. believe me. And then um, there are days where she needs help, so I come over. So let me get this straight. Take care of mom um, Mondays before you go to Folsom, because you're there Monday through yeah. Wednesday. Then Thursday, Friday, you come here to take care of mom again, full yeah. day. Mm-hmm. And then do you ever have time for yourself? <laughs> I try to make Saturday and Sunday. But then when my kids come down, <laughs> they stay at my house. <laughs> so... Um, they come at least once a month. Mm. So, um, I, like Thanksgiving holidays, wow. they always come. Because so, they have nowhere else to stay, wow. so they stay at my house. Yeah. So do you take care of, you said in the peninsula, you also take care of grandkids there or no? Yes, I have one grandson that's five months. So now he's coming like maybe once a week. So who is, th- th- that's William? That's William. And he, they live in? They live in San Mateo. San Mateo, got it. So they're more fortunate. So they come over, and then on Saturday, Sundays, if I have time, they'll come, you know, sometimes they'll come over. Wow, so they're here all the time. So you take care of uh, William how many days a week? Varies, depends. Sometimes it's two, sometimes mm-hmm. it's one, because they're both nurses, mm-hmm. and then my son's going back for another degree and my daughter-in-law she works full-time so yeah. depends depends they just tell me just like uh, tomorrow I'm babysitting because um, suddenly her sister she's a nurse also so she's willing mm-hmm. to take one day but then mm-hmm. she said she had her schedule change uh-huh. so now mom are you available to help so I said oh okay bring him over <laughs> what can I do part of me feels like you love it of course I do. I care for my kids and my mom, and it's um, something that you're doing that my mom did for me. So, uh, how so did she do it for you? What did she take care of you? Uh, your, I mean, she obviously took care of you. And how many siblings again? She, I have two siblings. Okay. And where do you fall in the birth order? The last, I'm the baby, the okay. only girl. Oh, okay. And so in the Asian community. Yeah. As a girl, yeah. you know, it's like um, you're really closer to your mom. Mm-hmm. And since my dad passed away when he was early, like 48, mm. it left her kind of by herself because my, both my brothers were away to college and I was stuck here in college. And um, so I've been with her since. 
Oh, wow. So you took care of your ailing father, and he passed away at 48. Mm -hmm. how, how long ago is that? I mean, how long did you take care of him? Well, we, we took care, it was like, he, he was uh, diagnosed with leukemia okay. for eight years. Oh, wow. Before he, and I was only in eighth grade. I was oblivious. I was so naive because... So you really were started taking care of care your family at eight years old? No, eight, um, when I was at in eighth, eighth grade. grade. So at eighth grade, <clears throat> in eighth grade, you started taking care of your ailing father. Well, I was helping whatever tell, he I mean. needs. And um, no, actually, I'll tell you, I started at five years old when I worked at his laundry. <laughs> the laundromat. Okay, now, so let's do, let's go back. Um, so tell me about your family's history, the immigration, kind of the, your, in bullet points, if you can. Kind of yeah, like. my um, mom came over when my dad, she's a war bride. So when he finished, he was in World War II, he, he went back to China to get a bride. And... Um, uh, one of those fixed marriages, mm -hmm. of course, and my mom um, was only barely 21, and my grandfather was here. So she, of course, it's not that fixed, because she, she wouldn't have married him if she didn't see him first. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Your mom has her, she's <laughs> stubborn, yeah. Yes, yeah. So, With all due respect, uh, she's like, knows what she wants, and yes, she'll she tell does. you like and it she's is. She's the oldest child, <laughs> and um, she's been very... Um, Demanding, she knows what she wants. And so um, they got married and they came here. They at what came year? here in 1948 or 49, I believe. Yeah, and then they dropped by San Francisco first because my uh, maternal grandfather's here. So they visit, but my paternal grandfather was in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where I was born. Okay. So then um, we went there. And that's where I was born, but my mom did not like it at all. She was, you know, exposed to the elements for the first time in her life because in China she had slaves and she never did anything. She, you know, she was well-to-do. And, um, and so it was too cold for her. It was too like cold, too dirty, and, you know, they had a laundry. And that's the first exposure for her to be in an area that's not... <laughs> Very friendly. She doesn't know the language. Doesn't know the culture. Culture, nothing. And she and has stuff. to start working for the first time ever at first 21? Time. Yes. Wow. Okay, so how long? 20. 20. How long was she in Philly? And then tell me about the process it of coming was, here. Um, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Oh, so, sorry. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah. So how long in Pittsburgh? I believe um, probably three years, barely. Because I was, my brother and I were three. We were born one after another. And I was the last one. She keeps telling me I left. She left when I was six months, and she did not like the place at all. Okay. And so you guys ended up here. Yeah, we ended up in San Francisco, and she lived in a hotel first, and then I believe they had enough money to buy a laundry, so they worked in a laundry. Now um, I know we went to the Sunset at first, but it was too cold. We were getting sick all the time. So then she said, "No, we got to move." Then I remember, really remember 7-Eleven Van Ness Avenue, mm. where, where the, they tore down the building twice. After they tore it down, when we lived at the laundry, it became a gasoline station. Now it's some kind of office building, I think. Before I thought it was Burger King. Okay. It's right off Eddie. Okay. So every time I pass, I have fond memories. Seven Eleven Van Ness. Can't can't forget that. And that's where you lived, or that's where the, lived, the shop was. We lived in the laundry. We well, lived, lived behind the laundry in a one okay. room. Wow. Yeah. All Most how of, many of you guys? All five of us. Wow. Okay. Yeah. And then from there. And from what? there, um, but we went to Irving Street. We went. We moved to the Sunset. And because um, I guess it was getting small, and then there's a one bedroom behind the sunset uh, on 40th and Irving, and we went there. And that, at that point, when I I still remember, when we were five, we moved here to this place to live. Up, up to that point, we lived behind the laundry. And so, how long were you guys uh, at the? Uh, Va Van Ness. It was until I was five. Okay. And what year was that? 1957. 1957, but when you guys moved to America, what year was that? My mom moved to yeah. America, in, I believe 1948. And so they you had a laundry at the whole life? Yeah. Mom. Mom. Until, okay, until we were in Irving Street, 
And at that point, when I was five years old and six years old, my three, my brother and I, we had to go work at the laundry <laughs> for my dad. Yeah. Well, my mom worked as a seamstress. Okay. And um, believe me, that was the first time I start working, like um, getting clothes, cleaning clothes, and was sweeping the floor. <laughs> and so what did you do with the money? Did you have to give it to mom we and dad? We didn't get money. Oh, we're, didn't get we did what we were told to do. <laughs> we, we didn't know any better mm -hmm. because we were poor. So <laughs> then, mom, so let me get this straight. So uh -huh. uh, you helped take care of your father who passed away of leukemia. At four, he was age 48, yeah. and you were in the eighth grade. And then, mom, you got married and had kids. Yeah. Three children. I no, four. Six kids. So, sorry. So you got married and then had six kids. Mm -hmm. And then, mom also was a caregiver, right? For yeah, your kids. she took care of my kids. Mm. It was so noble of her because I was going to stop working. I, I taught, but um, she she always loved kids. She mm. just I loves kids. Smell. Yeah, the she way loves she was kids. With William, mm -hmm. her great and grandpa. so she, I was going to maybe take off from school and not work anymore to take care of my kids. But then she she just said, "I'm I'd rather take care of the kids than work." So she said, stop. She stopped working. And wow. I'm like, wow, I'm lucky. <laughs> so how many years has she stopped working? Oh, she retired. Wow. She just stopped working at, once I had kids. You come from many generations of caregivers, right? Yes. I, yeah, because um, my mom took care of my grandfather, too, and I witnessed that. And, I mean, I love my grandfather, too. And he was always there when I was young. Mm. So when and when did he pass away? Uh, just old age. He was you? 96. Wow. And wow. he was still running around very healthy until he went to Phoenix one day. And mm. that was it. I think the altitude changed. Yeah. And mm. at 96, it was a great age.